My name is Tan. I'm a filmmaker here in Dallas, Texas, and I'm a graduate of Media Tech in 2012. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't born here in Texas. I was actually born in Vietnam, but I moved here whenever I was three years old. So I'm basically American. My mom and dad are pretty much, you know, they're, they're very traditional Vietnamese people. Like they came here and they didn't know anything about America. You know, you know how parents are. Parents just want a better life for their kids. So they work their, their butt off and, you know, try to give us the best that they can, can give us. I, I was a skateboarder. And that, that is something that led into my second hobby, which was break dancing. And we played this game called Dance Dance Revolution. And I remember getting onto that platform, just playing a game, but all these kids in the background would make fun of me, but I wouldn't listen to them because I was just having so much fun that I just couldn't stop. And then that's actually how I got into music videos. Reading rhythms, understanding the emotion behind it, the instruments, that all kind of just clicked together. As a college student, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I actually changed my major six times. It was the very last semester that I actually decided that I wanted to do more photo stuff more film stuff and I was like you know like why am I doing all these basic courses you know like let's do something that I actually really care about but I actually failed all those classes <laughs> and the reason why I failed all those classes is because I actually was more engraved into my own projects rather than the school projects so my creativity did come out but I didn't do all the all the the tests and the quizzes that I was supposed to but that, that whole semester, it was like, I would wake up, I'd go to work, and every chance that I would get, I'd watch YouTube videos on filmmaking. I remember sitting in my room and I was editing a video project and I was like, why not do this for a living? It wasn't until that I got a call from one of my friends that I started filmmaking with. And he was like, hey man, I, I saw this Craigslist offer. This guy wants a highlight video for a Hindu wedding. I immediately jumped at it. And from there, he was able to see what I was able to do with that. And he hired me. And that was my first part-time gig as a wedding cinematographer. I remember I had two demo reels on my belt that time, 2010 and 2011. I went into MediaTek at 2012. Honestly, like whenever I first came in, I felt like I, I had a great deal of knowledge already, but that turned out not to be the case. The MediaTek was different because there was a lot of structure. It's a very technical school and MediaTek provided that. They provided the right tools, the talent, like-minded individuals, people that thought about films and loved films the way that you did. And playing with all those toys, you know, asking my mentors for advice. You know, you don't get that whenever you're on your computer watching YouTube videos or just hanging out with your friends. But MediaTek was like, it was serious, but also fun. Upon graduation, I actually enrolled into Agora Entertainment. I think I interned for four months and that actually led to a part-time job. So during that time, I met up with a few of my other friends and we started a creative agency called The Fold. Long story short, that company flopped, but I did learn a lot about business. I think that was my main takeaway from that, is learning entrepreneurship and then also branding and what that means to a company. So what are you doing now? I am the owner of Time Traveler Pictures. It's a media production house that creates music videos and commercials. I also do wedding videos for this company called Reverend Wedding Films. With filmmaking, I can be a professional and also be a hobbyist at the same time. And I'm really passionate about just learning the craft of storytelling. Through MediaTek, I was able to learn the technical aspects and it made me a better filmmaker. Mm -hmm.